holy hell, it's Gollum's baby. <laughs> oh my god, this thing looks like it was dra- oh. of this video for a while now, which have all ultimately failed because I don't know crap about computers. So hopefully this time I have it figured out. I've had so many problems, but this is a video that I've really wanted to make and that hopefully maybe becomes like a little mini series because it's there's no shortage of problems. What problems? Reborn scam problems. So this is a little segment that I've been trying my best at and failing for a while that I'm going to call scam or no scam and basically I'm just going to go through eBay, Facebook, whatever, wherever you can find supposed reborn dolls and um, you know use my knowledge of being in the reborn community for the past three years and painting dolls myself for the past three years and you know use all the knowledge I have to determine whether this is recognizably a scam or not, and hopefully this can help other people recognize a scam more easily without having to spend years coming through information about artists, kids, dolls, all this. You know, that what's taken me three years to do, hopefully videos like this could help people recognize a scam faster before they get scammed. So... Okay, let's hope this is working. Um, so, hopefully, if I got it right this time, we'll be seeing an, e an eBay page. So, I want to do more than one of these videos. The first one I'm going to do right now is... I've tried to put in the... What do you call them? Filters that will be most likely to bring up a scam doll. So, I put in buy it now and the lowest price, so those are going to bring up more scam dolls, not saying that there are no dolls at a lower, well, it depends on how low the price goes. Putting in lowest price is the fastest way to get you a scam. Buy it now isn't necessarily going to bring you a scam, however, most scams are buy it now with eBay, anyways. So first we gotta, you know, scroll down past these dolls that obviously aren't reborns, they've just put reborn in the title to like, I don't know, try and get more people. Obviously this isn't a reborn. Um, so here's this. Um, to me, that doesn't look very reborn realistic to me, but 39.22, that could be very enticing for like a parent or a grandparent buying something for a kid. So, um, this is a scam right away because of the price. Um, reborn doll kits cost way more. So, first of all, if you're completely new to reborns, this is the head of a reborn doll kit. It comes, they come in blank vinyl kits, just like this little girl right here. This is Tiger Lily by the sculptor Cassie Brace. So, reborn artists, most of the time, don't sculpt their dolls. They get the vinyl kits, like I do, and paint them, like I do. And these vinyl kits cost, on average, from a hundred to, if you're getting into really big dolls, like this girl right here, this kit, on normal, would be almost $200. An average newborn size kit can get up to around $200 as well, depending on the sculptor. There are more famous sculptors out there, like there's more famous painters and all that. So, yeah. So, obviously, this doll, no reborn doll, is going to be going for $30, because that would be a massive loss to the artist. It just... It's not reasonable. Like, logic, it's not reasonable. This is way less than it costs to make the doll, so no artist is going to be selling a doll for that amount. 
even though this one is, well, it's not ugly. I'm going to be straight out with opinions here. Oh, and disclaimer, if I happen to pull up an ad for a doll and call it a scam, and, you know, the seller of this doll happens to be out there and being like, my doll is not a scam. You know what, Rexy? You can stay down there, sir. <laughs> um, yeah, if anyone selling a doll that I call a scam is offended, you are welcome to send me proof that it's not a scam, and if I find proof, if you can send me the adequate proof, you know, safety pictures, all that, then I'll publicly come back on every media platform I have and saying, you know, I was wrong. Probably not going to happen. Um, so, yeah, there's only three pictures. That's another, not a dead giveaway, but that's a, that's kind of like an, uh, um, handmade. This thing was almost certainly, like, Okay, it could have been handmade because the hair is rather ugly, but, um, what I say is handmade is, you know, you spent a long, long time painting this doll, putting all those tiny details into it, like the under-the-skin work and then building up the skin tone, veins, moles, eyelashes, the, the whole nine yards. What this looks like is, you know, maybe someone took a doll and, like, went boop, boop, blush on the hands, boop, boop, blush on the nails, boop, boop, blush on the lips, hair, done. That's not handmade, that's shoddy workmanship. Um, <laughs> anyways. So, straight away, the most dead giveaway that this is definitely a scam, other than the price, is, um, silicone. Silicone vinyl. Silicone vinyl does not exist. Silicone vinyl does not exist. It's not possible. You cannot have an amalgamation of the two materials. It doesn't work that way. There is a softer vinyl that I guess, you know, could be described as silicone-like, even though, personally, I've felt the softer vinyl. It feels nothing like silicone. Um, it's just a softer vinyl. But there is no such thing as silicone vinyl. So if you see the words silicone vinyl, it is almost definitely a scam. And also, you can tell that this is obviously not silicone by the way... Can, can you stop doing that, please, sir? Stop. You can, why am I pointing? You can't see my finger on The way that the limbs are posed, you can't do that with a silicone. Silicones, well... First of all, if it... Does it claim to be full body? Let me see. Let me see. Okay, no, it doesn't claim to be full body. And there is half-body silicones, but, you know, also, if you're looking for a silicone doll, silicone is even more, is three times as expensive as vinyl. So there's no way a sil even a partial silicone doll is going for under 40. No way in hell. But, um, silicone is too floppy to be posing the way that this doll's arms are. So, um, yeah, that is 100% certified scam. Um, I'm not even gonna go to this one, cause it's, it's ugly. Hey! I'm just gonna be honest here, I'm sorry if I offend anyone, but, I mean, it's, yeah. Okay, here we go! 20, this is the mother load of scams here. 22 full body silicone vinyl handmade reborn doll blah 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 blah. So, $50.19, again, full body silicone dolls, you are not going to find one for under $2,000. And if you do, it's probably, you know, it's gonna be a silicone doll full body silicone doll that is kind of torn up, it's obviously been, you know, well loved, and you know, it looks kind of crappy, it looks kind of ugly. You are not going to find a beautiful full body silicone doll for under $2,000, I can almost guarantee it. So definitely, for 50 bucks, no way.
absolutely no way, 0% chance. And second of all, you can, hang on, I gotta remember that you guys can't see where I'm pointing on the screen. See this here? You can see the seam between the body and the arm, and I assume it's the same as the legs. Can I find a seam on the legs? Not necessarily, but you can see a very defined seam along the arms, and those seams are not present in a silicone doll. You're not going to see those seams. This is a hard vinyl plastic doll, which, you know, isn't a bad thing, but it's definitely a scam because they're advertising it as a, a full-body silicone doll. And, again, the arms are rigidly posed upwards. The silicone won't do that. It'll flop back down. But, yeah, so seams are a big giveaway that it's not a full-body silicone doll because full-body silicone dolls don't have those seams. These are the seams, the sockets, where the vinyl plastic inserts into the body where it connects so it can, you know, like, move its arms and stuff. <laughs> I'm a dork. Okay, um... Yeah, but that's 100% a scam with, like, the seams, the way it's posed, the way the leg is up, a silicone body, or a silicone doll's leg cannot stay up like that, we've been over this, and, um, yeah, the seams and the price, for sure, and then you got the silicone vinyl again, 100% certified scam, uh, this one also, in my opinion, is kind of ugly, but, I mean... Little Miss Coconut Cut over here. <laughs> I'm being mean, but I'm being honest. So, uh, here, soft vinyl. Okay, so soft vinyl is what I was talking about. So they're not saying that it's... So, okay, this one might not actually be a scam. It's not a reborn, but it's... You could possibly get this doll. Okay, this one I don't think is an actual scam. The only part it could be a scam is calling it a reborn, and then, like, somebody's sweet grandma comes on here, and it's like, my granddaughter wanted a reborn, I'm going to get this for her because it's the cheapest option, and then the granddaughter guesses, and so, like, what is this ugly coconut-haired thing? <laughs> um, but, yeah, not a reborn, not handmade. I have no idea what's going on with this hair. But not necessarily a scam. I can see you getting this doll for that price. I don't know why you would want it, but, um, yeah. So soft vinyl is a thing. Holy hell, it's Gollum's baby. <laughs> oh my god, this thing looks like it was dra- Oh, weenie. Weenie alert! <laughs> there was a weenie. I mean, and it's kind of funny, because- in this picture, I feel like I'd be able to see it in this picture, too, so that tells me this is two different dolls. There's just a boy version of the drowned rat baby and a girl version of the drowned rat baby. But um, other than this doll looking pretty terrifying, in my opinion, um, again, it's saying that it's full-body silicone, but um, a full-body silicone doll, again, doesn't have joints. Um, no way would it sit up like this, especially with the head standing straight up, a silicone doll would not do that. Um, yeah, and then the price, this is definitely a scam, I don't know why you would buy this, especially for a child, because it's terrifying, but um, yeah. Thanks a lot, scammers, now I'm going to have to go and edit a weenie out of my, out of my video. Going to need to find a picture to cover up the, the weenie. Okay, um, I can tell you with certainty this isn't silicone, um, okay, vinyl silicone, yeah, and the price, no way, I mean, it doesn't look like a reborn, it's not a reborn, it doesn't look real, so I don't know why you would buy it as a reborn, but, I mean, you'll probably get the doll in the picture, but it's not going to be made of silicone, and it's not an actual reborn, um, Silicone vinyl, not even gonna bother with that, plus it looks like a Walmart baby. 
why would you buy this on eBay when it's not even a reborn, not made of silicone, when you can just buy the same thing at Walmart for like 30 bucks? Um, okay, this one looks a little more realistic. Uh, again, silicone vinyl, full body, um, okay, so she is full body, but she's full body vinyl, and, um, She's not a reborn, but however, there is an issue of what are stolen kits, which is mostly in Asia. I don't want to bring this to a race or a country thing, but the fact is that most of these stolen doll kits are molded and manufactured in Asia. So you might want to be a little more cautious of buying a doll from Asia. Because there's more of a chance that it's going to be a scam if it comes from Asia. Is this one from Asia? Um, where am I looking here? I know where to find it if I go back. Where is it? Yeah, from China. Okay, especially from China, but Asia in general, be wary. I'm not saying that there's no, you know, authentic, reputable, reborn artist in China or in Asia, because I'm sure there are, and it must be awful for them because of all this that's going on there, but as a general note, be cautious buying dolls from Asia. Um, anyways, stolen kits. So, stolen kits are, they're illegal, it is copyright infringement, and it is so devastating to the sculptors that sculpt these kits, and the artists that paint them and sell them authentically like I do. So, what's, what a stolen kit is, is someone's going to buy an authentic reborn kit like this once, so they're going to spend the $99.99 .99 on this Tiger Lily kit, and then they're going to make a cheap mold of it, they're going to take whatever molding supplies they use, dunk the part in, and then they're just going to make, you know, like thousands and thousands thousands of copies of this authentic doll for way less than it would cost to buy thousands and thousands of Tiger Lily kits, which is impossible because she's a limited edition. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's fraud, it's illegal, it's copyright infringement, it's wrong, and... Some, a lot of these, there's been a lot of these scam, scam companies lately who have been illegally copying kits, which is, you know, as I've been saying, devastating, and selling them for way less, and it's, it's, it's not right, and it is hard to recognize, like if you see a picture of a copied kit, it's hard to tell that it's a copied kit, other than the fact that Usually the copied kits look a little bit ugly because these people don't put any time and effort into the doll. They do, again, you know, the blush on the lips, blush here, blush there, done. Um, the one way to really snoop out a illegally copied kit is the price. Because if you see, one of the most copied kits is the Saskia, which I'm sure will come upon a Saskia somewhere and that's one of the most highly illegal copied kits that there is out there. And, um, that kit sells for a hundred and, a hundred and nine dollars, I believe. And these, you know, copied kits are being sold for like 50 bucks, which is obviously a scam, again, because it costs way more to make an authentic Saskia than it does to than they're selling it for, if you get what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, we've got, uh, okay, well this one's saying toddler at 22 inches. Toddlers are not 22 inches. Toddlers are, in my opinion, a toddler is 27 inches and over. You could argue that 26 and 25 is a toddler too. Personally, you know, I don't think it's a toddler, I think it's a bigger baby, but that's all the opinion. Um, because, you know, 26 inch kit is going to fit in, um, like, nine month clothing, 
So to me, that's not a toddler. But anyways, that's that's all perspective and all that. But anyways, 22 inches definitely not a toddler. Um, and plus, you know, silicone vinyl doesn't exist. The price. Oh, here we go. This one could definitely snap some people up, I can see. So, um, Reborn Toddler, 22 inches, again, not a toddler. Handmade, vinyl, okay. So this one's saying vinyl, so that one is correct. Can I tell what kit this is? I feel like, I, I feel like I've seen her before, but I can't quite tell. Mom, what kit is this? Whatever kit this is, I'm going to say it's most definitely a scam because if it... Well, first of all, 22 inches is nowhere near a toddler size. But as well as the price, for that price, even if you are going to get the doll in this picture, it is definitely an illegally copied kit. So that is a scam. I feel like I know the kit, and it's driving me insane. Her hands kind of, well, it couldn't be. I'm, like, her hands kind of, her one hand kind of looks like this hand from the Jillian kit, but the Jillian kit is close to a toddler size. Again, I think she's a big baby, not a toddler. That's beside the point, but I feel like I've seen this kit before. It's probably an illegally copied kit. My goodness, this is a straight up illegal copy kit. And they even got the name right. This is Yep, that's that's Victoria. This is a full this is a full body reborn kit that does exist. It, there is a Victoria kit that is full bodied, but it's full body vinyl, not silicone, which you can obviously tell, but this is an illegally copied kit. And I'm surprised that they have the real name of the kit, because often the illegally copied kits don't have the real sculpt name. And that's probably something they're doing to try and trick people even more. It's like, oh, so they have the real kit name, so it must be an authentic Victoria, but it can't be because of the price. I can't remember exactly how much the Victoria kit costs, but it's... It's got to be almost 200 I can remember looking at the kit and going, I can never afford to paint that kit because it's so expensive. Um, but yes, definitely for the price they have it at, this is definitely an illegally copied kit. Also, again, it looks like it's been like wham-shammed together. That's not a word. But it's been, it looks like it's been hugged together within like 50 minutes. The hair is awful, and it's saying it's silicone, which it definitely, oh, silicone vinyl, so again, not true. Um, and that, you know, it can go in the bath, which is what a lot of people who are looking for full-bodied silicone dolls want. They want that bathability. Um, but this doll is, one, in the legally copied kit, two, not great looking. Three, it is, um, it's not silicone. It's definitely vinyl. It's probably a very cheap vinyl. It probably has all of these chemicals in it that are going to leak out. And when you try to bathe it, the water is going to seep inside the hollow vinyl body and cause all sorts of mold and crap. So, yeah. That one really makes me mad, but I know if I report it, nothing's going to happen. A monkey! Oh uh, yeah, this, that just looks like a stuffed animal to me. Okay, um, I'm gonna do one more. So, I'm gonna start bypassing ones, because they're, they're, they're just the same things. They're, you know... The price is a dead giveaway that it's not a real reborn doll, it's a scam. 
and um, you got the silicone vinyl, never buy a doll that says it's silicone vinyl, it's not true. Uh, oh, it sent me way up. Let me just pass that one that we already went through. Um, gonna find Lulu. Silicone vinyl. Silicone vinyl. I mean, oh, 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 I know this kit. I know this kit. I know this kit. Illegally copied kit. Illegally copied kit. Um, is it Phoenix? I think this is the Phoenix kit. Um, a very popular kit, and the most popular kits are the ones that always get copied. I'm pretty sure this is a Phoenix copy. The Phoenix kit goes for, or does Phoenix have an open mouth? Either way, with the price, it's obviously an illegally copied kit. Um, it only has one picture, which is a major no-no, a major red alert. Um, it, again, it's obviously okay, been shot. Okay, so away. I'm not sure. I think we got everything we needed. I might have stopped recording at some point and not realized it, but I got enough. So, anyways, um, that's scam or no scam. So far, it's been all scam. For the next video, I'm going to like try and do a medium range where it's going to get harder to spot if it's a scam or not. And you might get some real, actual real dolls mixed in there. Imagine that. Um, it makes me so, so mad. I just want to, like find these people and punch them. You know, obviously there's worse crimes, there's a hell of a lot worse crimes, but like, we're making an honest living, why can't you? Like, I, I don't know, just, ah! Um, yeah, so I hope that this has helped some people. Um, this is only the real, the only way that I could really try and set out, you know, how to look for a scam is to look for one myself and show you what I look for in scams and what to look out for yourself and all that. So, um, we're gonna pick Mr. Rexy up off the floor before someone steps on him because he's been turned into a pin cushion. And he's gonna sit up there where I told him to before he fell. Stay, stay. I'm warning you. Um... I'm not crazy, I swear. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, so, again, I hope that helped you. Uh, feel free to go in the comment section or any of my social medias, even my email. Send me, you know, eBay links, Facebook things, and ask that, you know, dolls, if it's a doll that you're thinking about buying for yourself or buying for someone you know, child, friend, whatever, if you're questioning if it's a scam or not, feel free to send it to me. I can't guarantee that I'll get back right away, but give it a few days. I'll try to, I'll try my hardest to get back to anyone who sends me something. And, you know, if you're wondering if it's a scam, I'll give you my best advice on it. If it's, you know, these are obvious scams. If it's something that is a little bit harder to say, you know, there's most likely... I can't say that that is 100% not a scam. It's easier to say that it 100% is a scam. But if you send me something and it looks legit, I'll say it looks legit, but I can't 100% say for sure that it is unless you send me, like, a top-selling artist link. Um, but, yeah, so that's all for now. Keep living the frogling's life. You know, check out other videos. I'm going to make a part two to this at some point in the future, I hope. Um, you know, watch out for them scams. I hope you haven't been scammed, and I hope you don't get scammed. And let's bring a stop to this ugly rigmarole, whatever this is, without using ugly words. Um, yeah, I'm rambling. Bye!